Welcome to my talk through of Mixed in Key 8, a large update to this very popular Swiss Army knife program for preparing your DJ tunes. What it's always done, and what we're going to start off by showing you, is analyse tracks for key. And the idea is that once it's analysed them for musical key using this system here called the Camelot system, it makes it very easy to mix in key in your DJ software. And that's what this software has always done. So let's see that working first. I've just loaded four tracks here and it's very quickly processing them. And it's going to give me a key result. And the key result is this number here. But also it's given me the tempo, uh, the energy level, which is a guess at how energetic the track is between 0 and 10 and the number of cue points is auto added because it now auto adds cue points or rather it auto adds editable cue points and that's what's new it did auto add cue points in the last sec in the last version of the software now you can edit them so let's just load a track up here and i'll show you what's going on so we have a waveform you can see eight cue points that have been added there if i zoom in you'll see that we have the beats they're those light blue lines and the melody is the kind of darker blue blob in the background you hear that cue point there that was on a beat let's just start playing it by pressing this play button which will play the segment from the cue point that's bang on the beat so that one's working okay and we can zoom in and out and we can look at all the other cue points that it's added for instance this one here seems to be on a break or rather at uh, the end of the melody with a bit of bass line this one here is definitely on a break so we'll listen to this one that's on the big vocal break of the track and this one here is looking very much like q.8 it's going to be where the kick drum comes in again indeed it was so these are all pretty well guessed uh, so i've got no problem with those but you can move them by grabbing them you can move them around and put them where you think they should be so that's really nice they get exported to your dj software Something else that's completely new in Mixed in Key 8 is a tag editor. Now, Mixed in Key had a tag editor called MetaBliss, which is now incorporated in Mixed in Key, which is awesome. So now you can edit your tags directly here and save those changes directly to the MP3. You can do cover art. I don't use cover art, but you could replace or delete the cover art uh, from there. Uh, you can alter the artist and name, tempo, and so on. Uh, but also you can bulk edit. So if in the grouping column I wanted to write club track, I can add that and then I can just grab it a bit like Excel and add it to all the tracks and then I can click save changes to save those changes. Now depending upon what software you're using there are different ways of saving these results out to your files. So there are integrated tutorials for various DJ software down here and the way you change the way it works is by going to your settings and making a few choices. So for instance you can choose to update your tags your common tags with energy, with key, or with both. You can choose to write it in the actual artist name, the song name, or in the, in the comments, or you can use the initial key tag to add the key to a tag which DJ software commonly uses uh, for key information. Uh, there's all kinds of options here, uh, and you can choose which ones you want to use depending upon the guides that are given to you, which are very clear uh, from Mixing Key down here. So once you set that, you basically forget it because you'll set it to work with your particular software. Now I want to go back to the settings because there are other bits and pieces here that it's worth talking to you about. You can set where it exports your cue points to depending upon what software you're using and whether or not you want it to overwrite any cue points it finds in there. You can also get it to rename your files to include the key and tempo information in the files. However, I would like to have seen it also give you the chance of including the energy level in your file name and have other ways of renaming your files. When you're going to let it start renaming your files, you might as well let it start renaming them with some of the other stuff here in the tag editor as well. You can choose which key notation you use, whether you want to uh, major on flats or sharps, if you want to use uh, standard key notation or stick with Camelot. You can uh, choose the way it analyzes tempo and decide how many decimal places and also give a low and high so that it gets it more uh, accurate. And you can also decide when you're auditioning your tracks in here, whether the audio player plays immediately or jumps uh, forward 25% or waits till you press the play button. Uh, and then there's other options down here for deciding what is in the tag editor. Mixed in Key also gives you the chance to add playlists. The collection of tunes that we've analysed will all show here in our entire collection. We've only got four tracks here, but as we analyse more and more music, it will show here. We can add playlists here. 
and I can add tunes from my collection to my sample playlist. And the nice thing about this is you can export your playlist as files. So if I wanted to have a sample playlist and then export all of those onto a USB stick, I can do that. So this is almost iTunes light. It lets you start to playlist your music and start to export your music to use elsewhere. Although it doesn't have anywhere near the flexibility that you find in programs like iTunes or in most DJ software, but it's intriguing that it appears to be going that way because in this world where iTunes is becoming less and less DJ friendly and Mixed in Key has got more and more of its features being duplicated in other people's software, Mixed in Key might have a route to remain relevant in the years to come by expanding on the way you can work, work with your playlists within it. All that said, this is a really solid update. It's a massive update from Mixed in Key 7 to Mixed in Key 8. It's got all the key stuff that you don't find in other software. For instance, if there was a key change in a track, you would see it in the key result. There is a piano keyboard, so you can check the key that it thinks the track is in here, and you can play the chord and find the root note and decide whether you think it's got it right. And if not, you can manually change that. And you can even plug a real keyboard in there. So if you're musically trained, it's a great way of both checking and altering keys if it gets them wrong. And it's got other features which you just don't find in other software, not least the fact that it's more accurate than any other software. But for me, the big thing going on here is all the stuff that's been added around the side, the editable cue points, the ability to uh, do your tagging from within here as well. And as I say, I'd like to see some of this stuff developed as the software moves into Mixed in Key 9 and 10 in the future. So there's our quick talk through of Mixed in Key 8. The full write-up of this is over on digitaldjtips.com.